right now we're entering a spinning plant. This is how the raw wool comes. This is the raw wool. Comes in these bales. Uh huh. So if you see the fibers running in any any which direction. Yeah. First thing they'll do is they'll wash this. Uh huh. Get all the impurities out. Uh huh. Then they'll put it on the carding machine. They have a carding machine here as well. All right. You see it. And then they'll spin the carding yarn. Okay. So okay, these great. Are all the processes. All right. We buy yarn from different different countries. Right. This is from Argentina. That is from New Zealand. So we buy from this. This is from New countries. Zealand over here. Or this one. The one is the one in the brown. And the brown. Right. And white is in where? So from Argentina. Argentina. All right. So we buy from different different areas. Yeah. And then we try to blend it together to make it a make the right blend for your yeah. product. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kundan. This is the raw yarn. This is the raw yarn. That's the staple end. Are you getting it? No, one second. Look at that. Look at that. I don't think I can see it. It's okay. too skinny. But that's one, uh, so that's measured in microns. The thickness is in micron. Yeah. The staple length is in. That's a very good wool. Yeah. That's very good. Look at the staple length in that. That's a very long staple length. Alright, what are we looking at here? And it's uh, now, when you want to do fiber blended, what they've done is they've taken the, the raw yarn, they've already dyed it uh -huh. without turning it into yarn or without turning it into, uh, you know, without spinning it. This is raw yarn that has been dyed okay. and now they're going to mix it, they're going to blend it at the fiber stage. So now when they mix it up and they spin it into yarn, you'll have those natural flecks of different colors coming through. Wow. Okay. So... Carding machine. expensive it gets. Ah. So they sort it. When they're buying it, they sort it out. Okay. Great. And then they can mix it. You saw the, the tri-color yarn we were showing you today? Yeah. That's white mixed in with yellow, mixed in with gray. And what we do is we have to dye a color wood, then we use that one. Dark color shades, we use that kind of wood. For lighter color shades, we use this kind of wood. Okay. So, the effect is almost the same, but the color, uh, the price, you know, is... That's great. This is raw viscose yarn. Raw viscose yarn. See now, pure white. You don't get wool that is, that is this white. You don't get this wool that is this white pretty much ever. 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 It's, yeah. So this is from a plant, viscose. Yep. Alright, thank you. Now it's going to get fed into this machine, which is 
further gonna keep aligning all the fibers in one. Alright, so this is the beginning of aligning it, the fibers. Yep. yep. Alright, so the fibers are getting aligned here, yep. but they need to get refined. More yep. more uh so directional. Keep, keep going through a series of different combs. Different combs. Yeah. You can see it here. It, it's combing it. So it's there's actually fine. fibers going through very fast. Uh -huh. But they created a smaller spool. Uh -huh. They'll feed two spools onto the spinning machine. All right, say that again for that. So they've taken the big bone, right? Converted it into a small spool. Which this machine's not running right now. Yeah. But when it does, that's from the cone. Yep. They turn it into a spool. They turn it into a spool. It's like a neck. All right. Ah, and here it is actually turning into a spool. Spool. I'm gonna put the spool onto the spinning machine. Uh huh. Now I'm spinning it into actual yarn. Now it's actually getting spinned into actual yarn. Of a certain count. Okay. Of a certain count. Is every single one a different count? Or, I mean, some of them are the same, some of them are different? I guess it typically would do one production run. Okay. So maybe this production run is happening for 30 counts or yeah. 60 counts. Let's calibrate the machine for that. Uh -huh. And then basically it's making sure that what's coming to the spool is going to turn into a really thin fiber. Right. Into a thin yarn of the thickness that's required. Right. And that, yeah, that's finally going to turn into a cone. What do you, you call this another cone? Smaller cone. The smaller cone. Yes. Yeah. Yarn. Yeah. Yarn. yarn. Actual yarn. Actual yarn. And what's, uh, what's he doing? He's cleaning, you know, whatever the hand which gets stuck in between, ah, he cleans it. Whatever gets stuck. Yeah, like this is, this is, this is getting stuck. It's cleaning. It's not the wool. Ah, that wool got, yeah. But sometimes it's oh my god. It. Good job. Now it is all in yarn format, which means it's got spun around each other. So I have to tease it open. It's a lot of, you have to use work to tease it open. It's yep. actually become yarn. It's become yarn. Yeah. Let's finish yarn. Got it? Yes, I do. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. happening here right now at the moment. Yeah. This is the machine that it can put the, the cone uh -huh. of yarn into hang. Ah, so the cone of yarn, this is the next process. This is the next process. This becomes um, the hang of yarn. The hang. Yes. What's going to get dyed? This is going to get dyed, yeah. Um, or if it's undyed, you don't need to dye it, but it becomes a hang. You still need a hang. Right, of course. That's the finished hang. And there we 
Therefore, that's ready for weaving. Yep. Yep. Right after the dyeing. All right. Yeah, of course.